why don't we go to the audience and see what questions that uh, they may have uh, about the therapy session for now and then uh, later on uh, about uh, the theory. Harry, I'd like to make a comment or ask you a question about your last comment. You talked about um, growth comes from what's already there, and I was, I've seen this family before, and I was beginning to feel a little hopeless myself watching them because they're so entrenched. Mm -hmm. It's almost like the one thing they all agree on is why Pam shouldn't grow up. Right. Um, but you saw hope there, so what, what were those strengths that you saw as a, working with them the first time? Where is that hope? <laughs> I, there were so many things that were that was that were there. Uh, one, um, this Pam kid who at first comes across as uh, somebody who's really handicapped, mm -hmm. um, mentally handicapped. Um, uh, when you pay attention to her, you realize you know, she's right on target. She she makes very accurate observations. And she makes accurate observations even about herself. There's an honesty there. Mm -hmm. okay. uh, there's a directness there that that I felt, you know, I can this I can connect to, this I can relate to. Uh, with the mother, early on, I, I don't know if you could see it in, 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 in the, in the, in the, uh, on the video, but early on there was emotion in this woman, emotion related to her daughter. You know, I mean, her eyes welled up oh, yeah. very quickly, and it all had to do with this kid, my daughter. Uh, so that um, I just knew that there was affection there. So I wanted to, to try to... to work on the structure and begin to create new spaces, but I wanted to do that in the context of the love, the genuine human love that was there. That would be the fuel. That would be the soul. That would bring it to life. Okay, so I was paying attention to both. It was there. 